All right, it's Boom 1039 Philly's Hip Hop and R&B DJ Caesar. I got special guest James Knight in the building. Live hand clap. It's just me in here, but so what? Going on, Philly, Philly. What's up? What's Yo, up? James, what's going on, man? Nothing much, man. Just um here, happy to be here. What's up? Man, everything's good, man. Uh, ex- I see you got the new single called Slow Dance. Yes, yes, yes. Now, explain to me about this record. You like slow dancing with the ladies <laughs> instead, of, instead of fast dancing. Like, what? which way we doing this? When I came up with the concept. It was just all about, yeah, absolutely, slow dance. That's what you used to do back in the day. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I'm a 90s baby, so, okay. you know, back then we still had those those slow jams and stuff. But mm-hmm. it's a mid-tempo banger. You could definitely play it on your way to the club. Nice, nice. So what made you want to go the slow dance way instead of, you know, you know what's <laughs> trendy right now with the, with the trap music and all that? Well, it's, it's, well, it got a little bit of trap in it as well. You know, uh, I definitely played it at the strip club. Shout out to Levels, okay. Tino. Yeah, big up um, to the strip All them down there, you know, the ladies love the record. Okay. You know, they dance to it, twerk to it. You definitely get a little bit of that as well. Nice. So what, is this off of a project? or This is, is off the project. My album is The Freedom of Sound. Okay. Um, it's the first song on the record. I actually did the record a year ago. Okay. But the record still is like banging. People's downloading. The streams is crazy. Yeah, man. People is liking it. Um, there's a lot of records on the Freedom of Sound, Bill Collector, Slow Dance is one of the features. Mm-hmm. We got Fallen, you know, and the list goes on and on. Everybody has their favorites. Nice. Now, who did you work with on this album? I worked with Tammy Jean, um, mm-hmm. a.k.a. Lady Merc, mm-hmm. a, you know, um, Bandit the Rapper. Mm-hmm. And um, those were the two hip-hop artists that I worked with. Oh, Trey Prada, he's on the record as well. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, Blake, um, Brian Cunningham, okay. producer, um, you know, and a couple other artists that's um, underground and stuff that I work with, nice. producers and stuff. I'm also a composer, so I composed and, you know, played some, you know, compositions on the album as well. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah. So what do you play? I play piano, trumpet. Oh, nice. Yep. All your whole life or you learned how to play? On my own life, you know, I come from a musical family. Grew up with, you know, a piano, self-taught and stuff like that, you know, so. That's dope. You know, nowadays it's really, um, you know, it's easier to kind of come up with concepts now because, mm-hmm. you know, with hip hop, it's all about a vibe. Yeah. You know, and that trap is is a vibe, you know. Mm-hmm. So we have a lot of um trap sounding songs mixed with R and B, mixed with a little bit of rock. You know, that's why I called it the freedom of sound because it's such a mixture of different genres. Which is, I like being eclectic myself, mm-hmm. all that. But you ain't say nothing about no reggae flavor. Be what about the reggae people? Well, actually, slow dance has reggae in it. Um, towards the bridge, you know, you really? got to check, check it out, man. I gotta check That's it out. where, like, the reggae thong, all that type all of that. girls is twerking, twerking to it. They loving it. You know, they loving that's it a dr- lot. That's dope. <laughs> nah, that's dope. And uh, I'm glad you said that, you know, the record is still been moving after a year because I'm, I'm trying to explain to people yeah. that it doesn't Happen come overnight. overnight. You no. know what I'm saying? If no, you're working the record, you keep working it and working yeah. it and working it. Yeah. If you believe strongly in this record. Yeah, yeah. So that's how you felt about this one? You knew this that's was a, the one? I knew. I mean, everybody has their favorites. You know, I mm-hmm. used to, like, get attached to a single. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I'm more of an album dude. You okay. know, people don't do that anymore. Yeah, you want the whole body. And my thing is I want the whole body. You know, so anytime I write a record or do a record, I always think long term. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm, I'm always want to pr- produce something that sounds like ahead of its time. Right. Because it may take a year you know, as an independent artist exactly. to get it off the ground. Exactly. So you always want to do something like that's, you know, before, you know, ahead of its time, actually. Mm-hmm. Of course. So then by the time, it you know, it actually grows legs on the record, it's mm-hmm. still hot. Exactly. Now, you're coming from Philly, right? I'm born and raised from Philly. Now, who are some of your influences here in the city? Um, Well, McFadden and Whitehead. Okay. Um, oh, you like the soul. That's, that's the soul. Nice. Um. Rest in peace, to, you know. Um, Pooji from the Delphonics oh, is my uncle. Okay. Um, my dad, James Knight, he was an artist. He was signed with Otis Redding. Nice. Um, old school stuff. Yeah, yeah. Classic you know, flavor. Classic flavor. Mm-hmm. That's, I'm an old soul, mm-hmm. and I love soul music. That's nice. You know, um, I love uh, Chris Brown is a dope R&B artist. Definitely. You know, that's R&B that does what I do. You're nice. You know, um, Jason Derulo, he's, he's dope. dope as well. He's dope. Um. Beyonce, she's, she's amazing. Mm-hmm. She's an amazing performer. Mm-hmm. You know, and the list goes on and on. Brandy, you know, so there's a lot of people that I'm feeling out there, you know, and it's a little bit of flavor of all of them mixed in my in my album. In your album. These and are people that I like. 
Of course. Now your album's already on iTunes, Spotify, all the streaming platforms. All platforms. That's, yep. that's what it is, man. Mm -hmm. uh, anything else you want to tell people about James Knight? Listen, you can follow me on Instagram, James Knight Adonis. You know, YouTube, you can look me up, James Knight Live, I'll pop up. Mm -hmm. All digital platforms that'll pop right up. The album is called The Freedom of Sound. You know, so check it out. Slow Dance is one of my favorite records. Nice. Shout out to DJ Caesar for having me. Anytime. You know what I'm saying? And check out check out my music on Boom 103. Definitely. I'm always going to drop them bombs. Now, before we, uh, we get up out of here, you being an old soul and loving the R&B, sound of the old school mm -hmm. what would you tell these new up and coming r&b singers to do more sing from your heart don't sing from influences like sometimes influences is stories from other people and people are not really living them okay. sometimes artists out here you know you talk about money cars you know women you know in a certain way and they do it but they're not really living that lifestyle so you know, sing from your heart. Whatever you're you're going through, there's definitely a market for it. There's somebody that can relate to your story. So stay true to yourself. Great answer, bro. I appreciate you. Thank right. you for coming awesome. by, my G. That Thank was dope. You, Word. <laughs> Thank you.